Hello everyone, my name is Lynn Carrado and I'm the General Manager of the Dixie Curling Club. As the General Manager, I am in charge of the day-to-day -day operations of the Curling Club and that includes staffing of the bar, ice technicians, general maintenance in the club, that type of thing. We've been here since 1956. We have a facility that has been here and been part of the Mississauga community for a very long time. We have a lovely lounge as well as banquet facilities that are up for rental. Dixie offers a selection of curling leagues. We have a very active daytime membership between day men and day women. We have our Tuesday Night Women League, which is a entry level league for people who are new to curling, and same with our Wednesday Night Men. We also have a very active junior membership. We have close to 100 children who are the, between the ages of 7 and 20. We have some choose your own leagues which are more competitive and they allow you to get to know the more competitive side of our sport. Hi, I'm Gina. And I'm Tim and we've been joined the club this season. We started curling the Friday Night League. Well, it actually started with Learn to Curl. At the beginning of the season, we have a try curling, which allows beginners to come in and try our sport. It is a great league to have a lot of fun, to learn to curl, and to meet great people. And we are fortunate that we have our convener, Ed O'Hearn, who spearheads, along with Patrick McConnell, this uh, social mixed league. It is a non-pressured environment where brand new curlers can come in and feel comfortable on the ice, learn from the veteran curlers that are here at the club. They can join with their spouses, their friends, their families, and, and not have any pressure about winning or losing. At the end of the day, it's all about learning the game and having fun. There's a lot more engagement and a lot more um, people getting involved in helping out with making Dick Six success. I've met so many new people through curling that are not just acquaintances, they're friends. We took it for one season, so actually technically it's been more than one season we've been here because we took the program and then we learned about the Friday Night Social. Just the camaraderie, the friendship, the, the staff here at the club make it a place that is, is welcoming and open. And uh, it, watching curling on TV uh, especially during an Olympic year, really motivated us to come out and try a truly Canadian sport. The great thing about Dixie is that it has a rich history. We just celebrated our 60th anniversary. We have many champions, including we have a world champion who still curls here on a regular basis. My name is Fran Todd. I've been a member of the Dixie Curling Club for 51 years. I am now a two-time world senior champion, and uh, the club is just fantastic. It's a very social club, but it's, a, it's also a competitive club. So you can curl at different levels and still enjoy this club. I've always wanted to curl, just uh, you know, watching on TV. I enjoy it because it challenges you both mentally and physically. So uh, it's often referred to as chess on ice doesn't take a lot of equipment cost to, to join and to play. People that are here are very friendly and engaging. They take time to teach people. They take time to socialize with people. Dixie hosted the Ontario uh, Scott Tournament of Hearts here at the club. And it was just a fabulous event. We had over 100 volunteers and the whole club got involved. I've met a lot of people and made a lot of friends. And I think that's what curling's all about. If there's one thing I'd like to tell people who are considering curling, is to come and play in our house. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Come, come play in our house! house.